16 points. Okori Penning Senior High School, 18 points. Pope John Senior High School and Minor Seminary, 22 points. The speed race, during round two. All questions are open to all schools at the same time. And they are ringing the bell to indicate that they are ready for round two. It's the bell that they will use to tell me that they are ready with an answer. So at any time, like you already know, if you have an answer, you ring your bell, I'll stop and allow you to give your answer. If you are the first school, you earn three points. Second school, two points. The third school, you earn one point. But at any time, if your answer is all incorrect, you also get negative one. Okay. So our first question for the speed race. If the voltage across the resistors in a potential divider are 5 volts and 25 volts, what is the voltage across the divider? Yes. 30 volts. Yes, it's 30 volts. electromagnetic force on a 5.0 picocoulomb charge moving at 2.0 I meters per second at a point with electric field 4.0 J volts per meter and the magnetic flux density 0 0.40 K Tesla. Yes, a big girl. 24 J. No. One. Has anybody else run? Pope John. 1.0 I plus 20 G. No. Oh. No. It's 3.2 J, 3.2 J. Find the potential energy relative to ground of a 100 kilogram object, 10 meters above. Yes, yeah, so for a penny. One by 10 to an exponent of four joules. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Phylum to which analyst? Phylum and a leader. Yes, that's right. <laughs> name, name the name the two most economically important arachnids. Spiders and scorpions. No. <laughs> there are ticks and mites. Ticks and mites. <laughs> what other name is given to the pollen basket of bees? Oh, for a penny. It is the honeycomb. No. Is the corbicula. Corbicula. A sample of radioisotope decays from 51.2 grams to 0 0.80 grams in 25. Yes. 
seconds. No. <laughs> Who else rang the bell? A brick girl. It is 4.17 seconds. No. Well, for a penny, in 25.2 hours, what is the half-life of the radioisotope? Yes, go ahead. 4.20 hours. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Determine. Determine the temperature at which 2.0 moles of an ideal gas in a 500 dm cube container has a pressure of 4.0 kilopascals. Pope John. 6.260 by 10 raised to an exponent of 1. Kelvin. No. One hundred and twenty Kelvin. What mass of sodium chloride must be dissolved in four hundred and fifty cm cube of a solution? to obtain a 15.0% mass volume solution. Pope John. 67.5 grams. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> coordinates of the point of inflection of the curve. Y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3. Yes, a big girl. It is negative 1, negative 1. Yes, that's correct. So, For x from the equation, the square root of the expression 2x squared minus 9 equals negative x. Or for a penny, x is equal to plus or minus 3. No. Who rang the bell next? For John. X is equal to three. No. So oh, okay, Brigel. X is equal to three or negative. Okay, three. that's not correct. So here. The answer is x is equal to negative 3. And because, so when you solve, you get x to be plus or minus 3. But you have to check both values. To put 3 back in the equation to say if it will make sense. And to put negative 3. And it's only negative 3 that will make sense in that sense. Okay? Our last question. A pair of fair dice is tossed. Find the probability both scores are even. 1 over 2. No. Given that the total score is 8. Yes, for John. 3 over 5. Yes, it's 3 over 5. 